If you are an architecture student or architecture fanatic, the architecture lingo can be really discouraging. So I made an Architecture Terminology Tuesday series on my channel to help explain architecture lingo that you may be confused on. Today we are going to be talking about pediments and what exactly is a pediment. <laughs> It's your girl Nat here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie Perry. I'm a student at University of Pennsylvania, an OSU alum, and I love architecture. Please consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this and supporting me on Patreon. I am putting myself through grad school. By definition, a pediment is an architectural element found in classical, neoclassical, and Baroque architecture. A pediment is a triangular shape located directly over the portico. And for those of you who haven't seen it, this video, I I did make a video on porticos. Essentially, a portico, though, is an area with a roof supported by columns leading to an entry of a building. The pediment was an essential architectural detail in Greek temple fronts. In Greek temples, the pediment helped harmonize the geometric components of the buildings, but it also supports the low-pitched gable roofs. The Romans adapted this and actually reduced the structural importance of a pediment. Therefore, the pediment could now be a decorative element in their temples. In Western architecture, one stylistic trend tried to emulate the Roman aesthetic and used the pediment to connect structures to Roman precedents. In the Baroque era, architects added curves, spirals, scrolls, and other elements to the cornice. The triangular pediment became redesigned and more ornate in this era. Now, regarding its actual pediment parts, protruding molding in the pediment is called a cornice, and it adds visual depth. The flat vertical surface within the cornice is the tympanum. It's the area enclosed by a pediment. This area is often decorated with sculpture. And that's it for today's video. Once again, I'll be short and sweet. Once again, please consider subscribing. It actually sincerely means the world to me. I am so happy with the small community we have created on my channel. Please consider and supporting my Patreon. It helps me eat. And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you guys.